Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, widely known as Mahatma Gandhi, was an iconic leader and freedom fighter who played a pivotal role in India's struggle for independence from British colonial rule. Born on October 2, 1869 in Porbandar, a coastal town in present-day Gujarat, India, Gandhi's life and principles continue to inspire millions around the world. This biography delves into the journey of Mahatma Gandhi, his early life, his transformative experiences, his philosophy of non-violence, and his profound impact on India and the world. Early Life and Education Gandhi was born into a devout Hindu family. His father, Karamchand Gandhi, was a government official, and his mother, Putlabai, was a deeply religious and compassionate woman. Gandhi was educated in law in London and became a barrister. During his stay in England, he was exposed to various ideologies and was influenced by the works of Henry David Thoreau and Leo Tolstoy, which would later shape his principles of civil disobedience and nonviolent resistance. Experiences in South Africa After returning to India, Gandhi faced various challenges, both personally and professionally. In 1893, he embarked on a journey to South Africa to represent a business client. It was in South Africa that Gandhi experienced the first-hand racial discrimination and prejudice faced by the Indian community. These experiences ignited the fire of activism in him, leading him to become a vocal advocate for the rights of Indians in South Africa, satyagraha, and nonviolent resistance. During his time in South Africa, Gandhi developed the concept of satyagraha, a form of nonviolent resistance based on truth and non-cooperation with unjust laws. He organized numerous campaigns and protests against discriminatory laws, advocating civil disobedience and passive resistance. His successful campaigns in South Africa garnered international attention, establishing him as a prominent leader. Return to India and the Shamparan Satyagraha In 1915, Gandhi returned to India and took up the cause of India's poor farmers. The Champaran Satyagraha in 1917 was his first major campaign in India, where he fought for the rights of indigo farmers against oppressive landlords. The successful outcome of this struggle solidified his position as a leader in the Indian Freedom Movement, the Non-Cooperation Movement. In 1920, Gandhi launched the Non-Cooperation Movement, urging Indians to boycott British institutions, schools, and products. Millions of Indians participated, leading to a significant impact on the British administration and the Indian society. However, the movement was suspended in 1922 after a violent incident at Chauri Chaura, where Gandhi emphasized the need for non-violence in the struggle for freedom, the Salt March and civil disobedience. In 1930, Gandhi initiated the iconic Salt March to protest the British salt tax, leading a 240-mile journey on foot from Sabarmati Ashram to Dandi. The march drew massive crowds and international attention, inspiring civil disobedience movements across India. This marked a turning point in India's fight for independence, round table conferences and the Quit India movement. In the early 1930s, Gandhi represented the Indian National Congress at the round table conferences in London, demanding greater political representation for India. However, Disillusioned by the lack of progress, he launched the Quit India movement in 1942, demanding an immediate end to British rule. The movement was met with harsh repression, and many leaders were arrested, but it further strengthened India's resolve for freedom. The Partition and Independence As India's freedom struggle intensified, communal tensions between Hindus and Muslims escalated. In 1947, the British announced the partition of India into two separate nations, India and Pakistan, the partition led to communal riots and mass migrations, resulting in immense human suffering. On August 15, 1947, India finally achieved independence, and Gandhi's lifelong dream of a free India was realized. Gandhi's message of peace and unity. Following independence, Gandhi continued to work towards communal harmony and social upliftment. He emphasized the importance of nonviolence, religious tolerance, and the eradication of untouchability. Despite his efforts, violence and conflict continued to plague the newborn nation. On January 30, 1948, Mahatma Gandhi's life was tragically cut short when he was assassinated by Nathuram Godze, a Hindu nationalist in New Delhi. His death shook the nation and the world, leaving behind a legacy of peace, non-violence, and social justice.
Conclusion Mahatma Gandhi's life was a testament to the power of truth, nonviolence, and resilience. His philosophy of satyagraha and nonviolent resistance not only contributed to India's independence, but also inspired countless other movements for freedom and justice across the globe. Gandhi's vision of a peaceful and united India remains a guiding light for the nation's progress. His principles and teachings continue to resonate with people worldwide, making him one of the most revered and influential leaders in history. Thank you from the depths of my heart for watching this video. Your support and engagement mean the world to us. So I humbly request you to join our community by subscribing to our channel. Thank you once again for being here with us.